Have you ever wondered what the state of our environment would be like in 50 years? Well, the answer to that question lies in our understanding and response to a global crisis we face today. Environmental pollution. Environmental pollution, simply put, is the introduction of harmful or excessive quantities of substances into the Earth's atmosphere. These substances, or pollutants, can take many forms and originate from various sources, all contributing to the degradation of our planet. Take, for example, air pollution. It's the result of harmful gases and particles released by industries and motor vehicles, often clouding our skies and filling our lungs. The effects are severe, from respiratory diseases to a disturbing rise in global temperatures, a phenomenon we know as climate change. Countries worldwide are now scrambling to improve air quality management, adopting cleaner technologies, and learning from past case studies. Then there's water pollution. Our rivers, lakes, and oceans are under threat from industrial waste, sewage, and agricultural runoff, disrupting aquatic life and contaminating our precious water supplies. The ripple effects are far-reaching, demanding immediate action in water quality management. Our seas and oceans aren't spared either, facing the brunt of marine pollution, while increasing temperatures from industrial processes result in thermal pollution, affecting aquatic ecosystems. The earth beneath our feet isn't safe, with soil pollution altering its composition and fertility. And let's not forget noise pollution, the constant background score of our urban lives, impacting our mental and physical health and nuclear hazards, the byproduct of our scientific advancements, requiring careful waste management. Each form of pollution presents a unique challenge, but they all have one thing in common. They're largely man-made. We've created this crisis, and it's up to us to solve it. From minimizing waste, reusing and recycling, to managing urban and industrial wastes, each one of us has a role to play. The state of our environment in 50 years depends on our actions today. It's a sobering thought, but also a call to action. Remember, the state of our environment is in our hands. Did you know that 9 out of 10 people breathe polluted air? Air pollution is the presence of substances in the atmosphere that are harmful to the health of humans and other living beings, or cause damage to the climate or to materials. It's like an invisible killer, constantly around us but often going unnoticed. Now, you might be wondering, what causes air pollution? The primary culprits are human activities, such as burning fossil fuels, industrial production, and vehicle exhaust. These activities release pollutants like carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and particulate matter into the air we breathe. The effects? They are alarming. From respiratory diseases to heart conditions, from environmental damage to climate change, the list goes on. Yet there's hope. Measures like air quality management programs, regulations on industrial emissions, and promotion of clean energy sources are being implemented around the globe. Case studies, like those in Beijing and Los Angeles, show the positive impact of such measures. Clean air isn't a luxury, it's a right. Can you imagine a day without clean water? Water, the lifeblood of our planet, is under threat. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies, usually as a result of human activities. It's a silent menace, disrupting ecosystems and making water unsafe for consumption and use. What causes it? The culprits are many, industrial waste, sewage, oil spills, and even agricultural runoff. Each contaminant carries its own effects from poisoning our drinking water to creating dead zones in our oceans. But all is not lost. Through water quality management, we can combat this issue. This involves monitoring water bodies, enforcing regulations, and implementing treatment methods to ensure water safety. Case studies around the world have shown its effectiveness, from the restoration of the Thames in London to the cleanup of Lake Erie in North America. The message is clear. We must act to protect our water. Remember, every drop counts. Do you know what happens to our oceans when they get too hot? Well, let's dive into the topic of marine and thermal pollution. It's like a fever sweeping the ocean, disrupting ecosystems, blighting coral reefs, and causing marine life to suffer. Thermal pollution is often a byproduct of power plants and industrial factories, where heat is discharged into our water bodies, leading to a drastic change in their temperature. Now let's talk about marine pollution. It's the aftermath of our own actions, the dumping of plastic waste, oil spills, and toxic chemicals into the sea. The result? A toxic soup that harms every organism it touches, from the tiniest plankton to the largest whales. But there's hope. With strict regulations, cleaner technologies, and responsible waste management, we can mitigate these issues. We can help the oceans cool down and cleanse themselves. Remember, the sea is a mirror of our future. 
let's ensure it reflects a healthier, cleaner world. Have you ever thought about the ground beneath your feet and the sounds around you? Soil, a vital component of our ecosystem, is suffering silently from pollution. The main culprits? Industrial waste, agricultural chemicals, and improper disposal of waste. These not only degrade the soil but also affect plant and animal life and ultimately, us. But there's hope. By adopting sustainable farming practices, minimizing the use of harmful chemicals, and properly managing waste, we can help protect our soil. Switching gears, let's talk about noise pollution. It's more than just a nuisance. Prolonged exposure to high levels of noise can lead to health issues like stress, sleep disorders, and even heart disease. To combat this silent killer, we can implement noise control measures like soundproofing buildings, regulating noise levels in crowded areas, and promoting the use of noise-canceling devices. It's time to listen to the silence and appreciate the earth. Have you ever thought about what happens to all the waste we produce? One of the most dangerous types of waste is nuclear waste, which can be hazardous for thousands of years. This waste is generated from nuclear power plants, medical facilities, and various industries. It poses a significant threat to the environment and to human health. But don't fret, we have ways to manage this. Cleaner technologies are being developed to minimize the generation of waste. These technologies focus on reducing, reusing, and recycling waste materials to lessen the impact on our planet. Apart from nuclear waste, there's also hazardous and biomedical waste. Hazardous waste, like industrial chemicals, can be detrimental to both people and the environment. Biomedical waste, on the other hand, is produced from healthcare facilities and can spread diseases if not properly handled. So the next time you toss something into the trash, remember this. Waste not, want not. Do you know how powerful you are in the fight against pollution? It's easy to feel small and insignificant in the face of such a massive problem, but the truth is, each and every one of us has the power to make a significant impact. Take, for instance, the story of Issa Tusise from the Gambia. She started recycling plastic bags into beautiful purses, not only reducing waste, but also creating a source of income for her community. Then there's Boyan Slat, a young inventor from the Netherlands who designed a system to clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. These are extraordinary examples, but remember, everyday actions matter too. Simple things like recycling, using less water, and choosing public transportation or carpooling can add up to big changes. So, don't underestimate your power. Be conscious, make sustainable choices, and inspire others to do the same. After all, one person can make a difference. Scene script. Are you ready to make a difference? Here's where we switch gears from learning about the problem to becoming part of the solution. We've explored a multitude of environmental concerns, from air and water pollution to nuclear hazards and waste management. But knowledge without action is like a lamp without light. It's time to shine, to illuminate the path towards a cleaner, healthier planet. Reducing pollution, improving our local environment, it all starts with us. So, what can we do? Let's break it down into manageable steps. Firstly, minimizing waste is a powerful place to start. Think about adopting cleaner technologies and habits, switch to energy-efficient appliances, reduce the use of single-use plastics, and consider renewable energy options. Small changes can lead to big impacts. Secondly, let's talk about recycling and reusing. This isn't just about separating your trash, it's about rethinking our consumption habits. Can that item be repurposed? Can we buy things secondhand? Can we choose products with less packaging? By reusing and recycling, we not only reduce waste, but also conserve natural resources. Thirdly, we must consider our water footprint. Conserving water, avoiding chemical-laden products that end up in our waterways, and supporting businesses that prioritize water quality management can go a long way in combating water pollution. Lastly, let's not forget about air pollution. Planting trees, limiting car usage, and supporting clean energy policies can help improve air quality. Remember, every step, no matter how small, is a stride towards a healthier planet. It's about making conscious choices, about realizing that our actions, our decisions, and our behaviors have a ripple effect. We all have a role to play in this grand symphony of change. So, are you ready to turn the tide? To transform knowledge into action? To become a champion for our planet? Subscribe for more because you won't find me later. Together we can make a difference. Let's start today, because our planet can't wait for tomorrow. Let's make everyday Earth Day, because the change we want to see in the world begins with us.